Hey guys, it's MKBHD here, back with another video for the Droid Dog YouTube channel. And today we're going to be taking a look at an application for Android, of course, called SwipePad. And it's a really neat application. It's not a home screen replacement, but it's very similar to one that actually allows you to drag in from a side of the screen and open a bunch of selected applications that you can choose. Uh, and this doesn't have any effect on battery life, which I'll show you. Uh, this really keeps your phone, you know, fast. It's not going to slow down your phone at all. And it's overall a really nice application. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and take a look. All right, guys, so taking a look at the application itself, like I said before, it doesn't take up that much battery life. So just to prove that to you, I guess, I'll go to About Phone and go to Status so you can see this phone's been running for nearly 72 hours straight and we're at half battery. So if I'll go to Swipe Pad in the App Tray, uh, this is a application available for free in the Android market. And there is a separate app called Tasker, which allows you to manage tasks using it. We'll open up swipe pad which is just the free thing which we're reviewing now so you enable a swipe pad by this first check here and you'll tap what region to swipe and basically what this is is where you want to be able to swipe into the center of your display to bring up that bunch of applications so now right now we have the bottom left and right corners and you can see they're highlighted so before we move on i'll go ahead and demonstrate it with a swipe here from the bottom and you can see it has this smooth little animation here and allows us to open up any application straight from there so that's what swipe pad allows you to do now I'm going to go ahead and go back into SwipePad and show you more options. You can, uh, of course, change what region to swipe. So you can, some people prefer swiping from the left-hand side. It feels more natural, but you have, of course, all these options here. You also have a couple of options uh, that allow you to change whether or not this indicator is here. This might bug a few people. You do need this there to guarantee that SwipePad is on, but you can turn it off and see if it works or not and turn on or off animations. But that's basically it for this app. Now, what you can do is when you swipe, you have the option to hold down over something and it'll turn orange and then you can let go and pick what you want to be in its spot. So if you want to hide it and make it just a blank spot like I did with these three in the middle here, you can do that. Or you can pick an application from all of the apps installed on your phone. And this allows you to have a bunch of open room on your home screen. So as you can see, I only have those three icons on my home screen. That's because I don't really need to use any of them uh, when I have swipe pad enabled. So I have my three home screens and then the apps that I use most frequently, I can enable here. Now this can be really helpful. See, I have Wi-Fi settings there. Uh, this can be helpful from in a browser. I can just swipe right over Wi-Fi settings and it'll, well, if it works, hopefully, it'll bring me to the Wi-Fi settings of the phone and allow me to turn it on. And you can do that by holding over a spot, wait for it to turn yellow. And you can actually bring uh, not just applications, but also contact shortcuts and shortcuts to other elements of the phone like settings. And that's where I found the Wi-Fi settings and that's how I got that to be there. So this is overall a really nice smooth application. Like I said, does not slow down your phone and does not take up any sort of battery life, at least I've found on the Motorola Droid and the Samsung Fascinate here. Uh, so that's basically it for this review for Droid Dog. If you'd like to check out more video reviews that I do on a weekly basis, you can check out my YouTube channel up here and check out the full post below at droiddog.com. MKBHD, signing out. Peace.